On whom is a complicated beast to talk about. However, from the bottom of my heart, I will not actually refer to it as a game, as games have problems in them. Wander Home has no problems. Wander Home barely is a game. It is, by all accounts, a non-entity of a narrative adventure where the characters live in the magical land of hate, where everyone is an animal person, the world is alive, everyone is fundamentally good, and there is absolutely nothing wrong. I sit here and debate what kind of person actually plays Wander Home. Well, to say play is actually Actually kind of a misnomer here, as to say or apt description would be to see what kind of person talks with Wander Home, as that's what 95% of the game actually is. Speaking, mechanically, there is literally nothing actually there outside of spending tokens. You get tokens by doing things, like pausing for a moment, or inconveniencing yourself, and then you'll spend tokens to listen to the shared wisdom of the small and forgotten gods, or find out what someone needs to give them a chance to fundamentally change. But not Nothing actually occurs. Wonder Home is an amateur theater production about travel, so there has to be some kind of traveling mechanics at least, right? No, there is none. Because remember, everything is fundamentally good and there is nothing wrong. It is an optional. GM decides if something does go on and there is any problem, any player at any time may simply say no to it as well. But the script will always tell you that each of the players will always take control of another thing about a thing. A player will take control over a nature of a place, a player will also take control over a kith of an ally, and so on and so forth. They have access to all that location's questions and can always zzz, which always is the closest thing to character beats anyone actually possesses. But any character can take control of these, any aspects, which leads to somewhat non-story as everyone is trying to do their own amateur theater fucking production rather than having a cohesive fucking narrative because there is no narrative. Entire section of the game is actually dedicated to training which ultimately do fucking nothing, except inform the person who is narrating what they can do if they want to, of course, because nothing is saying they can't or do things that aren't allowed to, simply that they are they can if they feel like it. A solid 40 pages of the book is dedicated to the fucking calendar, a small series of events that may have problems occur, but only if the players feel like answering the proposed question properly. The characters of Wander Home are simply actually just playbooks with, well, nothing really going for them. With nothing to really give them any characterization, you end up with poet who can do these six things, each who has a gimmick that means nothing, and then can level up during a seasonal holiday. Each of the playbooks also having the option to say, I want to stop playing, and then leave. Then there is the veteran. Oh, the veteran. A cosmic irony of the characters and one of the major fundamental flaws of Wander Home. One where if you kill another person with your own blade, a dedicated part of their playbook, you are removed from play. A poignant story beat on its own, a problem that the character and the turn of the player must always deal with, perpetually undermined by the fact that a player, once it occurs, they simply say no, which kind of highlights a major issue of the entire book, which is nothing matters. Nothing you do, nothing you say, nothing you are truly matters in Wander Home. There isn't a grand adventure of some kind or a journey to undertake, it's a cosmic goop from A to B. Things occur, you can kind of interact with them if you want, or not but things will always continue forward and there is no possibility of anything going wrong or having a failure state. But that undermines the entire thing. A story needs a struggle of some kind, a problem to grip onto, whether it's fighting an epic beast, finding love and despair, or maybe even just trying to get from point A to point B. There must be an intrinsic story to take place. Wander Home has no story, as it has no struggle. It is a non-entity that is pretending to be something, and it's a damn shame genuinely good artwork and ideas are wasted on it. This is glorified 272 pages of a storybook telling you to write the rest of the storybook. However, if you want a real game about travel, and I mean a real one, a game of epic hardships, of the little victories, the agonizing pain, and the overwhelming joys of moving a fucking cart from goddamn Appletown to Pear Town, there is a game, and that's name is Ryutama. When will I be talking about this Thursday? My name is Nopadana, and this was actually just a prolonged ad for my Ryutama video. If you like what I do here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.